The leader of the United Workers' Party is agitating for a change to the application of the Pasco mechanism used to determine the local price of petroleum products. Alan Chastney has reiterated his call for the Labour administration to revert to the 30-day assessment period. Additionally, it is still remaining very unclear to the United Workers' Party and to the general public. How does the government calculate the CIF price? Today they're saying that the CIF price is $8.66. How did they come to this number? What was the actual CIF price for the last quarter? And what was the actual CIF price for the previous quarter? And how much surplus funds were generated? And where did those funds go? Ultimately, these are the questions that we and the general public would like to see answered. We're asking again that the government reconsider its recent decision to lower the prices only to $13.65 and immediately reconsider lowering those prices to the real market level, similar to Dominica, St. Kitts, and even Grenada. We're asking them to do this in order to prevent bus fares from increasing at this particular time. The general public and the economy cannot afford increased bus fares. This is going to have a severe impact. Mr. Chastney says the opposition party is prepared to go the distance on the issue and has joined forces with civil organizations to plan a mass demonstration on January 29. Applications have been made to the government and were pending approval. We've also made applications for a public meeting on Saturday in Viewfort at 7 o'clock and we'll also be announcing a second public meeting prior to the 29th. The purpose of this march is in order for all of us solutions in a non-political way to be able to display to the government the need for change. That enough is enough that we need to ease the squeeze that's being brought, uh, brought on bear to the St. Lucians and to the businesses. This is meant to be a non-political march, simply a demonstration to show the government of St. Lucia how many people are actually frustrated and would like to see them change course from where they've been going and where they need to go. I'm asking everyone to come out and support this campaign. If you'd like to do so, get an orange ribbon tie it to your car, tie it to your arm, put it on your house, get an orange flag, and when you come out on the 29th, feel free to wear whichever color you want, red, yellow, green, white, it doesn't matter. It is your presence that's needed more than anything else. On Monday, consumers started paying $2.21 less for gasoline and $1.93 less for diesel. Consumers are also realizing savings of $4.04 on a 20-pound tank of LPG and $4.43 on a tank of 22-pound LPG. The price of the 100-pound cylinder was reduced by $20.17.